What's up guys? Thanks for watching my channel, Katie's Eyes. Now I know it's been a while since I uploaded, so I just want to thank you guys for your continued support and your patience. Um, but if you don't know, we've been super, super busy because I recently went from a girlfriend status to fiance status. Yeah. Now we're going to link the proposal video in the description box down below so you can go check it out if you have not. And we're going to be super busy with the wedding planning because we're getting married in two months. So we're going to try our best to upload every other week for you. And then um, since I'm going to be a wife in a couple of months, today I'm going to be making my fiance a kale and sausage soup since that's his favorite things to eat, soups. If you want to see how a blind girl gets down the kitchen, let me show you how it's done. Okay guys, so let me show you the ingredients I'm going to be using. I already chopped up my vegetables. Um, I have carrots and celery here. I have my diced tomatoes. I have the, these are great northern beans. My salt, pepper, uh, sour cream, chicken stock, uh, parmesan cheese. And then I have my kale. I have my onion already chopped up and my garlic. And then we're gonna be using Italian sausage. Now really quick, I did get this recipe from Laura in the Kitchen. Um, she does have the YouTube channel, so you could check it out. I did do some things a little bit different, so just so you guys know. And I do have other videos on how I cook, so if you wanna see me in detail how I chop all of this up, go check out my cooking playlist. So let's get started with the soup. So I'm gonna turn on my stove to medium. And I'm just feeling, make sure that it's hot. And if you're wondering how I know where everything is, like I mentioned in my previous videos, um, we just always keep everything in the same place. And then I just have a like mental map of where everything is. So, okay, so I'm gonna pour some oil in here. And I'm just feeling the pot to make sure that it's heating up with the oil. And one thing you guys I love about you know cooking is that. To me, as a visually impaired person, this is kind of like art. You know, it's art that I can, it's like 3D art. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain it, but that's why I love it. It's just something that I could be creative with, that I can do on my own, um, stuff that I don't need to see. I can use my hands, my um, smell, my taste to make sure that it's exactly what I want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna throw my sausage in there. I'm gonna try to chop up the sausage in pieces. Now I'm gonna season my sausage with salt. And some pa paper. <laughs> paper, pepper. Wait, did you move my pepper? Paper. I don't know why I said it with an accent. There we go. And you always put that stuff in your hand before, right? Yep, I always put it in my hand first, so that way I make sure that I'm over season my stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna let that cook, and then I'm gonna add my vegetables. Or, I mean, my onion. Okay, guys, so next I'm gonna put my carrots and celery in there. I like to chop them into big slices, because then that way, um, when my plate is served, it's easy for people to pick out what I don't like. <laughs> so I'm gonna toss these in there. Cause you don't really like vegetables, right? I don't like cooked vegetables. So I'm just gonna give it a stir and I'm just gonna actually let them cook for about probably 10 minutes and then I'm gonna chop up my garlic and then we'll be back to finish the rest. I'm sure people think it's crazy how you put all your vegetables without being scared at all, you know? But what I do is I like hold the vegetable, you see, kind of between my fingers. So that way I know where the knife is. So like I grab a group like that and I just kind of cut between my fingers. Can you actually smell the vegetables when they're ready? Not really, but I can smell like the meat, how it's smelling. So what I do with the vegetables is I try to grasp them on the spoon. And that's not a vegetable. And kind of try to feel if it's ready. I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit more. Cause it still felt pretty hard. So 
That's what I do. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna add the garlic. Really quick, you guys. Earlier I showed you guys this as kale. I didn't realize it because it was still in the bag. It's actually spinach. So here's the kale. <laughs> and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Blind people problems. But I would have known once I opened the bag to take it out, I would have known that it was not kale. I Maybe know what uh, like. like spinach leaves are like flying out every time you pick it up. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna dump but, this. But you have the kale now. So I'm gonna dump this garlic. Good. Starting to smell good. So you're gonna let the garlic cook that way the taste kind of dies down a little bit. Okay guys, so this is ready for our chicken stock. Now I pour my chicken stock like in any type type of measuring cup or in a cup first. That way I know exactly how much I'm putting because if I just pour this in there, I'm gonna have to be sticking my finger in there to measure it. So it's just safer to pour it in something first and then into the pot. And then I wanna give a shout out to Vanessa. She's been waiting for me to make this soup so that way she can make it. So here's the soup for you, Vanessa. <laughs> the ingredients. Okay guys, so the soup should be boiling already. Wait, I'm gonna open it. You can hear that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in there. So let me grab those real quick. And I remember why I leave everything, so that's why I knew it was there. So I'm gonna dump that in there. Stir. Now I'm gonna toss the kale in there. The right kale, not the spinach. <laughs> and I already had, I washed it and I chopped it into bite size. So I'm gonna add a spoon of sour cream and then I'm gonna throw some great northern beans. I'm actually gonna add the parmesan first. And just so you guys know, I forgot that you guys know, for the chicken um, stock, I use the low sodium. Um, just because we already add a lot of salt in here, so that way I can adjust it. So, add a spoonful of sour cream. Okay, give it a stir. It smells so good that even Wally came over here. Hey, Wally. Say What's hi, up, Wally? What's up, Wally? So I just poured the beans in there, as you guys saw, and I'm just gonna give this a stir, and then we're gonna let it for a couple of minutes just kind of boil again, and then taste it to make sure that it's good, and then we'll be ready to eat it. Are you ready, Wally? Yeah, right, you're not gonna get into that. See, I want some soup, but I'm on a strict diet, because I have to stay fit for So mommy. check out Wally's video, we're gonna leave it on the description down below. All right, guys, so let's check this soup. It's actually ready. I think it cooked for what, like 20 minutes or so? Just about. Yeah. So I'm gonna serve some for Manny so he can try it first. This is the hardest thing for me is actually serving food. Babe, it's really hot. Mm. That's delicious. So what am I supposed to eat it in front of you guys? No, this is safe. So it came out good? Yeah. Yeah, let me have some. No. Dang! <laughs> then I'm good. All right, guys. So there is um, the cow and sausage soup that I made. And once again, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get notified for my next video. I miss filming with you for you guys. I miss you guys on YouTube. So make sure you comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time on Katie's Eyes. I miss you guys. Good to Maybe. see you guys again. Bye. I'm gonna eat this soup so. Bye. Wally. Wally is a big licker. He wants to lick everything. That's his life goal.